What up, YouTubers? Shenny D's in the house. So, carrying on from the last one, this is... I can't remember what part it is. I think it's part three or four. Uh, of the TD5 build. So, done the axles on the last one. They're all ready for action then. Uh, obviously, I'm not using these wheels and tyres. Engines there, I've not done nothing else with that yet. Um, but I have decided what gearbox I'm going to have. So, because the R380 is like chocolate, it's not very strong if you want to put a load of power through it. I thought I'd go with the ZF 8HP70 BMW box. So, as you know, it's an 8-speed automatic. These can take about 1,000 newton metres. They say 700 of torque, but people put 1,000 newton metres through, no problem. Um, so, yeah, I've got that. That's a low mileage one now out of... Uh, I think it's a 2016 BMW or 2013, I can't remember. Um, so I got that, 50,000 miles, that's done. Got the torque converter with it. And I've got the TD5 automatic flywheel and spacer and bolts. I've got to get a kit from Synchro Gearboxes again for the bellhousing adapter to TD5 and a flex plate which bolts onto this. But they're not going to have one till end of summer, so I've got to wait for that. But then you use the BMW torque converter as well. But these gearboxes are pretty bulletproof. People have like 1,000 newton metres torque going through them, no problem. And obviously it's an 8-speed automatic. So I'm going to be using that. And these are the ECUs inside um the oem ecu i'm going to do away with that so you take it apart it's pretty easy to do take it apart and then you just got to connect all the solenoids to this plug so you can either use wires or you can get a little circuit board which is soldering it's dead easy to do that so that's not a problem and then that just connects i think it's eight solenoids to the pins on the output plug and then i'm going to use i think i'm going to use a turbo lamic ecu um and all it does really just it all works everything out from the input speed selector to the output speed selector they only have them two sensors in well they have a temperature sensor as well but they only have them two sensors in the gearboxes and um the ecu works all the gear changes out and everything and they self-tune as well but you can also tune them yourself as well and mess about with all the settings so that's good but I have got the LT230 adapter kit, and that's from Synchro Gearboxes. So that comes with the splined adapter, which just pops on there. So I've got that, and then you've got this plate, this nice big piece of billet. So that goes on there, and that bolts up to the gearbox. And then you've got that, which pulls up to the transfer box, the LT230, the Defender one, and then that bolts up to that. So that's all good. And you have a seal and bolts and everything which comes with that kit as well. So pretty excited about that. And I've just got all my arms and everything and anti-roll bars and everything which have stripped down a frame. So I'm going to clean all them up. And then I'm going to epoxy primer them and then just two pack them over the top. So I'm on with that at the minute. And then I've got to order another load of bits and bobs like springs and i might just use these old man emus which i've got for the time being just painting them up um, and get a set of springs so i think i'm going to do that for the time being so that's the update at the minute so i'll get stuck into that so my steering box had all, all four bolts snapped in it so i managed to get two of them out with the little trick using a left hand drill bit and that just razzed them out, that one and that one. And then the other two just drilled them and used my little Torx bit and they come out a tree. Happy days, mate. So, trailing arms, I'm just going to reinforce them. Got some angle here, five mil thick. So I'm just going to cut a section across there and weld it all on. DIY, mate. So, yeah, got them cut out. And then I uh, just ground the fusion welds there, just to two flat points. And then they'll fit over there nice. And stay nice and flush. 
There's the bottom of the bar. So I'll just do a load of welding now. So I've welded all them up now. Just move them off from back edge there. Nice and tough. Big blob on there as well. Same with that one. Happy days, mate. Should be nice and tough, them beauties now. Just ground them edges a bit as well. And top off it. Get that big sharp edge off him. Big thunderstorm here, mate. Well, nice out there. Melting. Pushing all my uh, bushes out of everything. So I've got them arms what I've made dangling down to bare metal. A frame down to bare metal. Radius arms down to bare metal and all the bits and bobs. So. I've got them ready for getting some epoxy primer, which I've got. And I'm just going to do these epoxy primer, and then I'm going to just do, going to do a 2K uh, clear coat over the top because I want them grey anyway. So they're all ready for action. And my anti-roll bars there as well, but they're staying black then. So that's it, got the uh, 2K clear coat on as well. They look all right then. So yeah, all good to go then. Just got to wait for my bushes. So I've got to give them a clear coat as well, the anti-roll bars as well, and the Dan bar. So yeah, happy days, mate. Jobs are good and Look at shine on them, mate. Beautiful. So that's all the bits and bobs, all epoxy primered, and then 2K clear coat. I actually put over half a litre of 2K clear coat on this lot. So it should be pretty well protected. It's come out really nice, actually. Well chuffed with that. The arms are looking good. Even these ones which are reinforced are looking all right as well. Not too bad at all then. So I've gone over the ball joints as well. They're all good then. I've ordered some more for the rear anti-roll bar. So I've got some Delphi ones coming. And I've got some Pro Bush, Poly Bushes coming. Sorry, Super Pro, Poly Bush coming. Full kit and then some for the anti-roll bars as well. And then I'll start building it then. I've got me old... Old man emu shockers, the gas nitros. So I've just wire wheeled them down and scotched them down. So I'm just going to give them a bit of epoxy primer and I've got some yellow paint to go over the top as well. Now, like a bit of recycling. So they're all primed up now with me epoxy. And then I've got my trusty old skip paint. <laughs> what he uh, painted me little digger with so slap some of that on i think so a few more bits and bobs have landed got me heavy duty galvanized turrets and got the base plates for the springs and the heavy duty turret rings with the little nuts there um they were from who are they from now crafted ovals 105 quid for them. I just thought that was pretty cheap and the good quality as well. So buzzing on that one. Then I got some standard bump stops and I got the bolts for the rear anti-roll bar, the ones which have got the chamfer on and all the fitting kit for the rear shocker mounts. There. 
and the bushes to go with them and then a couple of bolts to the A frame and all the little nuts for the rear trailing arms to be oh no they're not I can't remember what they are but for some anyway well they might be for these actually um I got them all um there was only like I think it was like 55 quid delivered from triple four engineering so nice one for that as well nice and cheap good quality as well uh got some more delphi um the, the drop link same as them for the rear anti-roll bar so they're from creative ovals as well and they're as cheap as i could get them than anywhere else got some base plates and some retaining brackets for the rear springs can't remember who got them off. I think it's from that bulkhead place in Liverpool. And they were nice and cheap as well. So nice one for that. Um, then I've got my rear anti-roll bar bushes. I got them poly bush because they was cheap. 20 quid. Bargain. Um, these were about 22 quid as well. Super pro ones for the front anti-roll bar. So that's good as well. I'm just waiting for my full kit of super pro to come. You know, for all the arms and everything. So I'm waiting on them. And then um, I've just got some standard 2.2 uh, front springs, which I'm just chipping away at, at getting all the crap off them. And then going to wire wheel them. And then I'm going to treat, rust treat them. And then I'm going to give them a good painting. And I've also got some rays coming as well standard ones because i want standard springs on so that's where i'm at at the minute oh and i've done these as well painted them um so they're looking a bit better uh, my old man emu so I've painted all them up they're ready for action happy days mate i just painted my steering box um i'm gonna get the drop arm conversion for the one which has got the track red ending off the left hand drive disco I might get some sumo bars because it's all in one kit, makes it easier. Bit of money, but I might do it anyway because it's had a right whack. Um, I think that's what snapped it, you know, all the, the bolts. It's had a right whack on the drop arm and it's also had a whack on the other section bending the bolts. So I won't be able to get that ball joint out anyway, even though it's all right. So I'll do that conversion and then I've done the springs of wire brushed them right down and then rust treated them and then put some black on him and then someone commented on my rear calipers saying i hope you're not keeping them silver so i have done them purple just for you mate <laughs> so there we go so i've got to chuck them back on the axle just strip them off so i'll chuck them back on there as well when they dry so they'll be purple like the front ones my rear springs have just landed they're absolutely mint them uh, from Twisted, new take off, well, second hand take off, but not been used much, so well chuffed with them. Bargain as well, so nice one for that. There we go, they look a bit better, don't they? Just like the front ones. So I've got all my bushes in and my drop links, I mean, anti roll bars ready for chucking on. I've got my A frame built up as well, ready for chucking on. Got a load of nuts, mate, flange nuts. Because I'm sick of not having any. So I've got a bit of a selection. So I've got some M6s. 8.8 .8 high tensile steel zinc coated serrated. Uh, 200 of them. Uh, then I've got some M8s. 200 of them. Same as 8.8 .8 high tensile steel but not serrated. So 200 of them. And M10s, 100 of them, 8.8 .8 high tensile again, serrated, flanged. Um, and then 26 M12s, serrated, flanged, 8.8 .8 high tensile, zinc coated again. So they're all from Accu. And them little lot were 60 quid delivered, which I think's not too bad for these days. So nice one for them, mate buzzing on them getting excited over a load of nuts then i've got my steering damper oh man demu um 100 quid craddock's nice one mate 
yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lacquer, clear lacquer this, because I've heard the paint's not very thin, thick on these, scratches off and rust, so lacquer that as well. So, I've got everything there ready for going on, and I've got my chassis in now, and I've got my rear axle and my front axle ready for chucking on. It's easier because I've got my block and tackle there, so I can just lift it up. But I am still waiting for my bushes after three flipping weeks. But apparently they've posted them today, so hopefully I'll get them next week. So yeah, and get the build on the go then when they eventually arrive. So it's got my turrets on, got them both on. With turret rings underneath and got the bump stops on the front. Just got the little seat bases for the springs there on as well. Same on the other side. Got my uh, shocker brackets on as well there on both sides. And the bump stops on there. And then I just put my springs on the back axle ready. So I'll get my bushes tomorrow, hopefully, and then I can build it up. So, after three and a half weeks, my bushes have arrived. My Super Pro bushes. So, yeah, all them for all the arms and panard and trailing arms, radius arms, all the suspension bits and bobs. So, they're all there. So, I'll get them all pressed in now, innit? Get in there. Sound as a pound, mate. It's the A frame done. That's the trailing arms both done. Happy days, mate. So that's the front axle built up. Got the shockers on and all the bushes and washes and stuff. And then the springs are on, got the radius arms on and the bushes. So it's just ready for plonking on there now. So I'll get my block and tackle and chuck that on. That's the front axle on. I've not put the Dan bar on yet because I've not got my steering box on with the bracket for the Dan bar and everything. But yeah, it's on. I just uh, got to nip up the bushes on the back and that's about it for the front one and we can move on to the back one. One thing what I had to do which I forgot, when you get these tubular turrets they always catch on full extend on, on one of the welds so I've had to grind that back a bit. Just lift that up enough, get the uh, rear axle rolled underneath now. So that's the back axle on as well. Got the shockers on, springs on, trailing arms, bushes, all bolted up. Uh, got the A-frame on as well. Got all that bolted up as well. All unky-dory. Same again on the other side. I've not put my anti-roll bar on yet because I want to do all the tank and everything. But if I just get on it, and give it a jiggle. That's all right, that. Not bad at all. So I think them shockers are all right. Because the second hand and that. And then I can't really get a lot of weight in the front, so I can't really try it. But they're working all right anyway. Happy days, mate. Just waiting for me sumo bars now, so I can put the steering box on. Just going to pull this arm off, ready for putting me... Disco straight arm conversion with a ball joint. So just whack that off now. So I've got the disco conversion drop arm on. I've not done the tab yet because uh, I'm going to use it for a bit and then nip it up again, then tab it over. That's the old one. Like I say, I had a right whack there and that's probably what's done the box bolts in. So I'm going to chuck that on, but I ain't got my sumo bars yet. I did get the trap run end, so I've given them some epoxy primer and painted them. And then done the front bracket as well for the shocker, the damper. So I've epoxy primered and painted that. But 
the other part of the parcel has not been delivered yet. So hopefully it'll be today or tomorrow. So I've just got the steering box on. And I've got the arm on, like I said. And I've put the bracket on for the Dan bar. I'll bolt it up there. And then I've got the Dan bar on as well. Pan hard rod, whatever you want to call it. But I've not, I've not nipped it up yet because I want to make sure I've got weight on it before I nip it up. So that's all done. Well, my sumo bars have just landed. So I'll just give them a scotch down and some brake cleaner. I'm going to do some epoxy primer and a bit of silver on them. I think they're zinc plated anyway, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to do it anyway. So I've just gone over in some silver as well. So I'll let them all dry and I'll chuck them on. So that's the arms all painted and the track rods, just got to get all the masking tape off and all the brackets and the bits and bobs. So I'll build them up now. Always grease your joints, mate. So that's the sumo bars on. Got the front one on as well. Got the uh, damper bracket on as well. And then the damper's on as well. That's an, uh, that old man emu of lacquered it as well put some clear coat on it so yeah it's looking mint that drop arms on like i say i'm not done that tab yet because i'm going to use it a bit and then retorque it and then tab it up but yeah nice one gwyn lewis for them the buzzing mate done a good job there mate so that's the anti-roll bar on as well all bolted up and a little drop links in as well all tightened up. Happy days, mate. Looking all right now. That's pretty much the lower front done now. So I've got the rear anti-roll bar on as well. I've only just put it on loose. All links are on in that. Yeah, put it on loose because I've ordered an aluminium tank guard because the metal one that I've got, I was going to get it galvanised, but it's a bit too far gone. So I thought I'd treat myself, get an alley one. So yeah, that's pretty much rolling chassis done now. Like I say, up front ends on as well. So yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with all that. So I think next, might move on to the engine. Um, got the block in here. So yeah, I'm still in two minds what to do the the block fill with whether it use the stuff what they use in America, which is it is like cement, or to use the DEFCON. The DEFCON you can drill through it because it's like an epoxy with uh, metal particles in. And I don't know whether I do a solid block fill or whether, like I say, just fill the bottom half up with salt. It's just halfway up where the core plugs go um, and then sort of seal all this off and then get it dead level and fill it up with DEVCON then drill where all the holes are where the head gasket is and then drain all the salt out of it that way you can still have it flowing through the block itself um, but I don't even know whether bother having it flowing through the block because the they run dead cool, Lee. So I'll, I'll have a little think about it. I'll have a little ponder over it anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, I think. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>